Welcome to my van conversion slash renovation project. Um, enjoy. So this is how the van looked when I first bought it. A nice simple summer camper and a sketch of my initial plans. Originally I started with a hand screwdriver. I was very happy when I borrowed a power tool. Much faster. Taking down carpeted walls, not great for moisture. The main reason I upgraded to this size van is for the head height compared to my Citroen Berlingo that I had a micro camper in before. While I was stripping the van down ready to insulate, I found a few surprises. Like some of the windows which had broken seals, causing lots of rust and mould. One of the most time consuming parts of this project was the original metal maintenance. Uh, I found a lot of rust, a lot of holes, a lot of places where the windows weren't sealed and it was water dripping in and creating rust. Um, so that set me back a lot, not knowing they were going to be there. Um, but obviously it's super important to get those sorted out so you're watertight in your van. Stripping rust, adding mesh, filling and sealing. Other holes to fill in the van. Also when you're dealing with outer van things like this you have to factor in weather. Uh, like I worked under a viaduct while it was raining so that I wasn't getting leaks. I started in October and the further into winter I got Obviously the days are getting shorter and colder, so it meant there was less working time each day. Removing fill the previous owner had attempted. Spraying with an anti-corrosion paint. White vinegar is very good at dissolving rust. Big boy mesh. fiberglass filler. I used foam underlay for the floor, stuck down with expanding foam. Flooring found on Facebook Marketplace. Sheep's wool brought for literally pennies from a local farmer as it was underbelly offcuts. <laughs> Trying to work with the curves of the van. All the insulation must be completely flat against the wall to prevent moisture. I used poly iso board, thick boards, uh, put in like puzzle pieces to as many gaps as I could. Where I had wiring for locks and things, like in doors, I used sheep's wool so that it's removable and it's not going to affect the wires. And any other little gap, I used expanding foam, insulating foam, very sticky stuff. Oh my god. But really good uh, acoustics wise as well. And any extra foam was sawn off. The sheep's wool was definitely my favourite to use because it's the most natural. It's also one of the best insulators. It doesn't create damp, it does well with moisture. Um, and obviously, one of the most expensive, but definitely my favourite and if I was to make a van again I would try and go out of my way to get all sheep's wool and insulate it all this way. It's lovely, you feel like a little bird putting, making your nest for the winter. <laughs> I added a clip storage box sealed to the vent so I have the choice of airflow or not. 
Take your time insulating the doors. You don't want to affect the lock mechanisms. The ceilings were insulated with Kilner underflooring insulation board, nice and light. Which, like a cake, I piped expanding foam onto the back and stuck it up so that no ridge would be hollow. It is completely sandwiched to the roof. The last few pieces of board going in. Foil tape and insulation on the wheel arches. Some brush to go under the door so it has a stronger seal. And that back piece of flooring you see is actually from my previous van conversion. It doesn't quite fit the space, but it doesn't matter because it's actually going to be hidden under a floor, a raised floor I'll create above. I decided to have a raised floor in the back section because I'm quite short anyway, so I can still stand up there straight. And also that seat, that section is for sitting mainly anyway. So it just felt like wasted space that I could uh, make use out of. I think Luna likes the space. I also created a insulated wall into the cab with a little fairy door, uh, just as extra insulation, extra protection from the outside weather stops condensation in the bit that I'm living in uh, and a really cute way then if I wanted to get into the driver's seat without leaving the vehicle uh, I can just pop through the door. I made this with simple wood battens and insulation board so it's really light. This is the final part of my shell. It's all ready and cleared out for you guys to have a look. place here that I've put in which you can see in another video but the basics walls floors are in raised flooring and one little seat currently I also checked out the temperature difference between outside the van at minus 3.7 and inside the van turning out at minus 1.9 so the insulation was definitely worth it. So that was my van build. Uh, altogether, I think I started 29th of October and it's mid-December now. So yeah, nearly eight weeks for the shell to be made. If I was doing this in the summer, it would have been a lot quicker. But obviously you're dealing with evenings drawing in. My cost of build has probably been around £1,000 and the van itself cost £3,000. So altogether we're at about £4,000, which is not bad for a house. And there'll be another video which shows you more about the interior design. Uh, look out for that one. Thanks for watching. Music in this video was made by music producer Smiley Rye. Check his stuff out on SoundCloud or YouTube.